Welcome everyone. This is the Robichaud Realty Group with Jason Holter from Secure National Mortgage. We're here to talk today of interest buy down for loans. Yeah, so basically, you know, with the market the way it is, you know, interest rates interest rates are up. So there's been some different products that have come out to kind of help with the interest rates the first couple of years. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of times, um, you know, if you're representing a buyer, uh, you know, maybe the payment's a little bit high. We could get them an uh, interest rate reduction for the first up to three years, actually. The more common ones are either two years or one year. And what that is, is basically uh, where we apply some of the seller page closing cost to a temporary buy down. And so you've got two types of buy downs. You've got a, a permanent buy down, which is for the life of the loan. And then you've got a temporary buy down. The way the temporary buy down works is basically, you know, with everything that's going on with the economy, uh, rates are expected to fall in the next 12 to 24 months where, you know, people that have financed a home in the last 18 months may be able to refinance yeah. for a better deal, you know. So um, in order to help them get a better payment up front, uh, if you did a two-year buy down, basically, say your rate was, say the rate was seven and a half to start out with. Year one, it would be five and a half. Year two, it would be six and a half. Then year, you know, month 25, and of course, be the seven and a half back to the original. With the hopes that you could refinance. Correct. For a lower rate. Correct. Yeah. With the hopes that, you know, basically take some pressure off of, because if you, if you do some math, you know, and say you, you were representing your buyer that, hey, we want to offer 5% off on this house or 5% less. On the $350,000 deal, that saves them about $127 a month. Right, not very much. <laughs> not, not a whole lot. Right. You know, I was running some numbers on the buy down. That same thing, if you if you kept it the same price and just did the buy down, the two-year buy down, they would save, uh, the first year, they would save $460 a month oh, on principal interest. That's substantial. Yeah. Yeah. The second year would be $235 a month. And then third year would go back to well, where before, it started. Before, right, right. And the cool thing about the buy down, the, the biggest benefit that I see of it is, say in 12 months, the um, rates bottom out and you're eligible to refinance, you don't lose that money. So, you know, on the on the two-year buy down, it costs the seller roughly 2.3%. Of the purchase price. Of the, of the sales price, of the loan amount. Right. So, so 2.3%. And so say, you know, in the first year, say they used the entire amount, the $4,600. So they would still have a little over $4,000 remaining, maybe $3,700. If they went to refinance, that goes as a principal reduction. So they don't lose the money. To whereas if you did a permanent buy down, you know, basically right. dropped it from say seven and a half to 6.99, you lost the money. Well, hey, let's do this. You sent me this awesome Excel sheet. Um, with like a bit buy down calculator. And what we can do is we can re screen record this and maybe play around with some numbers. So, so this deal shows a loan amount of 409, um, seven and a half percent interest. All right. So if we do a, a, a one year buy down, it costs, uh, yeah. So if we did a one year buy down roughly from seven and a half percent to six and a half percent, it would cost the seller $3,296. It would save the borrower $275 per month. If we did a two-year buy-down. This is on a hypothetical. Uh, what's the price of the loan? The loan amount is uh, 409. 409. 409. So that's you know, to be honest, that's the, what the year-to-date average of lead city sales prices are. Currently like on the dot. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, and this changes a little bit depending on loan amount. We could play with that, you know, whether it's, you know, 409 or 309, we can always adjust the numbers a little bit. But so on a 2 1 buy down, so 7.5% the first year, uh, I mean, that's that's a starting rate. Right. And then so if on a 2 1 buy down, you go to 5.5% the first year, that saves them $538 a month. Yeah. So year two is 275 a month. Um, and so total, all in, it's, it would cost the seller $9,746. $9, and so if we looked at this, and so for 409, 
And say you took. Um, oh, is that what this is? Or? No, that's. Uh, I just I made some copies of the same okay. one. So to, to kind of compare, if you look at 409 and say you took, you wanted, you know, we, we want to go in 5% less. That's about $22,000 off the price, right? Yeah, right. And so if you looked at that, that's going to save you about $148 a month. So you could either, if you got 5% 5 off the price, you could save $148 a month. Or if you got 5% off the price, you could maybe reduce this to 402 and get the rest and the contributions get the best of both worlds. Okay. You know, so basically get a bit, little bit lower price and use your remaining 5% and apply that towards the 2-1 buy down and then save. It's a substantial saving. You know, in, in, in the transactions, we always want a win-win situation because these are families moving into homes. We are not Donald Trump making the art of the deal. <laughs> right. And one thing I'm seeing on the market every day is – we're at with this area. I'm talking like Galveston County, Clear Lake area, Pearland. We're seeing about 50 new listings a day. Mm. Price decreases. We're seeing a hundred or more a day. Mm. You know, it could be five thousand. It could be fifty thousand. Mm. Um, but instead of if people have this education, instead of decreasing the price of their home, buyers now can come in with this two one this buy down option right. sellers instead of reducing the price, take that reduction they would have done and put that towards a, a buy down. It's kind of like both people are leaving money on the table. Correct. So yeah. if the seller decided to do the buy down, the two one buy down, instead of reduce it 5%, they actually make 2.4% on the sale, mm, which right. is kind of crazy. Right. You know, but if the buyer, that's won, the win, win we're talking about. Correct. Yeah. 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 So instead of just, just reducing it because I mean reducing a deal five percent doesn't really help and pay, doesn't help a buyer. No, you know I would say eighty percent of the deals we're looking at right now that are coming the contracts we're getting have some form of seller contributions. Yeah, you know what are we applying those to? You know where 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 that where does that money go? Replacing uh, carpet or reducing our monthly payment? Correct. Well, if you, if you look at it, say you paid, say on a, on this deal, say you did a permanent buy down, and say you saved one hundred and forty eight bucks a month. But it costs you seven thousand five hundred. Right, that's over three years, thirty years. Correct. It is one hundred forty eight dollars times three sixty. Is yeah, it's a lot. I mean, it's a hundred hundred dollars is thirty six thousand. Yeah. So let's just call it fifty three thousand over the term if they keep it thirty years. So if you did a permanent buy down and say you're at you drive it from seven and a half to six point nine nine, it say it cost you two points to do that, right? Well, you're saving 148 bucks a month. If you factor in what it costs you to get that, 8,000 to save you 148 bucks a month, it's going to take you several years to get that money back. Correct. You know, that's basically $1,800 a year time. So let's say 2,000 a year, probably four and a half years to get that money back versus doing a two on buy down, do it temporary. Um, you know, well, and that, that's under the assumption that. We're optimistically awaiting these rates to come back down right. out of the sevens and maybe even the sixes. Right. What would you say is like a historic median? Um, probably six and a half. Okay. You know, I mean, they back in the eighties, I guess they got up to 18%. Right. That kind yeah. of distorted the average. So our, our thought is, you know, behind everything with the rates, you know, it's, you know, they can't keep them up forever. You know, they, they increase rates to slow demand to get people to quit spending money. That's it. And they're doing a pretty good job at it. Well, let's get crazy here. Let's okay. go to the three, two, one buy down. Three, two, one buy down is pretty slow. So this one, and, and this is going to depend on the program. So this all, all these deals that we're talking about, the two, one buy down, three, one buy down, you know, so if you're doing conventional loan, you're doing 5% down, yeah. right? Your max contributions are 3% from the seller. On, 3%. Correct. If you're doing 5% down. If you do ten percent down or more, you can get up to six percent. So that's why is that cap there? It's just Fannie and Freddie's rule. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so the three three two one buy down basically gives you a, a relief on rate for the first three years. Five percent more down, yeah. you can get up to six percent contributions. As opposed to three percent. Investment properties are going to be capped at two two percent seller contributions. Okay. FHA is six percent, and then VA is four percent. Okay. To four percent. So on this one, the three, two, one buy down. So this is going to cost the seller 
Uh, if you do 409, 19, 195, 48, it's probably four and a half points, four and a half percent. So basically on that deal, you know, the first year they're saving $787 a month. Wow. Second year, 538. Basically what happens with the buy down, that money that the seller puts up is put into a reserve account and it goes to help supplement the payments for the first three years. And so year one out of that 19,000, 9,400, almost 9,500 is going towards uh, that buy down. Mm -hmm. Year two, 6,500, 6,450 is going towards that buy down. Year three, 3,298 is going, or 96 is going towards that buy down. So if you do that, the math, it's the annual savings there, but also shows you the buy down cost. But here's the deal. I mean, you know, it's just looking at, because the numbers are the numbers. You know, if you go, if you go and look at the same deal and you take, Say you take $19,000 off that purchase price, the 409. Say you wanted to do, we want as low as we can get it. You know, the deal with the buy downs is they have to qualify with that payment, the, the highest rate mm -hmm. that it could adjust to eventually. So the starting rate. Um, but if you go look at it and you, you take 19195 off the sales price of 409, that's roughly a 390 loan amount. That's 140, 150 bucks cheaper a month versus you know, a significant lower payment because you're yeah gonna, several hundred dollars yeah, yeah. seven hundred eighty seven dollars I think the light bills some of the light bills are on that these days so maybe uh, you know I'm just thinking from the realtor hat here a strategy would be in like agent remarks on the MLS sheet is instead of reducing the price would you consider a buy down. Can, can you, so a lot of the builders are doing that right now, you know, with uh, their advertising these rates, which I don't think that agents can advertise or are supposed to advertise rates, but the builders are. Well, you can uh, still just say we'll, we'll be contributing to a buy down, okay, whatever that may that. look like. Okay. So that's what they're doing. You now, looking at it, we're just looking at some different options. You know, in the past, we've never had to talk about buy downs. Um, you know, rates were super low. Yeah, this is uh, take some of the heat off the first couple of years, you know, and it, it could be a win win, um, you know, if we if we do the math on it. All right, Jason. Well, I appreciate you coming out, putting this video together. I'm I'm sure of it for a lot of people. This isn't even on their radar, as we can see with these daily price reductions that people aren't advertising this on their listings as a as a way for sellers to not have to concede just money for nothing. And for buyers to, to you know, to capitalize on as far right. as as because the deal is here's the deal. If you reduce your price, I'm gonna want that price reduction and some. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. As soon as as soon as seller reduces a price, and this is this is a challenge for us when we're trying to help a seller get their household. It's like blood in the water, right. and then the sharks coming and they they want okay. You reduce for five. Can we ask for fifty off now? Yeah, they kind of uh, go off the deep end. Yeah. So this is just a, a different way to think about it because the same money is being used, just how how it's going to be used. Right. So awesome. Well, thanks, Jason. Cool. Thanks uh, for having me. I hope you all learned something today. If you have any questions, any recommendations or ideas, we'd love to hear back from you. Uh, Y'all have a great day now. Bye. Bye.